so hello guys welcome back to my channel this is and trip and i'm your host okay many people always say that most of my video i always don't say my name my name is dennis but many of you people call me deno yeah as you all know so many people have been asking me where is part b of my video like about the cannibali that I said watch out of the next video and today is that day that I'm going to tell you what happened yeah so it went like this like the day I showed that video that's right now on YouTube about the how the cannibali bust dike bust I was to shoot the next footage the following day and a crazy thing happened like the day I was to shoot the uh, the next day that I was to shoot the part B of the video uh, friends of mine came home and they told me that they were going to play some football to do some exercise for the coming upcoming match and so I went with them for the training and the bad thing happened that while I was playing I got a new dislocation on the field the field and so it happened that so that I couldn't walk I couldn't put my legs straight like the only thing I could do like was to fit to jump or sit down like it was something that happened even the first at first they didn't took it serious but they realized it was serious later and after training we went directly to the hospital yeah I went to the hospital and as you can see on my hospital book I went there late hours they checked it they tried to put it back on like they said to stretch it so that it can be on the right like it was on my yeah it was my right knee like here so my friend tried to stretch it up but still wouldn't be the way it was and so the doctor planned Say that next plan would be for me to go to an X-ray for X-ray checkup, which was wasn't available the, at the uh, hospital. The hospital that I went to because that's just a dispensary at our home village. So I was to go for an X-ray checkup, then see how the bones were, and so uh, and then the the uh, them so that they could uh, they could see what they can do next next yeah so happened like that the doctor told me to to go to visit the hospital hospital the next day for another checkup but for me I couldn't work so. With my tough head, I decided to stay at home. So the thing took like almost a whole week because my trip there was like one week. Because yeah, one week. But due to the thing that happened, yeah, I ended up adding another one more week. So because of the situation couldn't work well so I went ahead with the checkup and the workouts until I felt like I, I was now able to step down and walk like normal yeah just like I used to walk so I then tried to take a ride I, I, I took a motorcycle we went some laps yeah you know one cycle it was that motorcycle that doesn't have a starter so yeah i had to 
kick the starter just like uh, normal motorcycles do uh, though I could still hear some little pain but I just decided to do it as a form of workout still took some laps and went back home and said now uh, I was good so anyway leave a longer story so that was the main part that is the main thing that maybe not to shoot the part B of the video but I'm not saying that you should now skip the video the, 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 the interesting story is still coming so many of you still wanted to know what happened to Lake Kanyaburi yeah as you can see Lake Kanyaburi is always uh, an Oxford Lake so there's a company near Lake Kanyaburi called company that works on Yala Swamp called um, it used to be called uh, Dominion Farm though nowadays I don't know how it's called but yeah before Dominion Farm there was a company called uh, known as a Lake Basin and before that there was another company which I don't know its name so I think the, the, the Lake Basin and Dominion was the one that decided to create a path just like a dike across the Kenya body that divided the lake like, into two so the dike was, it was too long and thin so but cars were able to pass through I think I remember there's a time we went there like we could walk 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 and then we went somewhere where you on a dike this is lake, this is lake. Yeah, but with time, one side water level went down, like, and people started to cultivate in the area. Like, they used to, people started farming on the other side that went down. So, what happened at this? Lake Anaboli always has, um, it only has a Inlet, yeah, no outlet. And I remember talking with that video that it's always some kind of salty. So this due to uh, is the reason for it being salty is due to it not having the um, outlet. Yeah, that's a. Uh, and this one, I really don't know where I landed, but, but I, that's the reason. So, it's, it gets its water from um, Yala, River Yala, yeah, branch of River Yala. And so, the water always coming, getting, getting. And uh, that season, there were too much rain also. So, too much rain and Yala swamp feeding it. The water came on um, the water overlapped the dike and pushed the dike in order for it to breathe, making its way to the other side that used to have water. So since the water volume was high, the, the there's there are always some floating papyrus streets on the lake that are always being pushed by wind so some of the papyrus seedbeds on the other side and as you can see on the footage the water was passing on a very high speed that said that no, no human being could cross the dike like at, at, at that moment mm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you the footage uh, yeah as you can see the water was passing at a very high speed people were standing it was even shown on news. So you see. So after that, yeah, even had the, the it affected the, some parts of um, Budalani. Even the I had that M MP of Budalangi came to witness what happened. And it found he found that just a day that busted mm -hmm. and um, I heard that the governor 
the, the governor also came. They take they took a look and they were not planning on the renovating the dike so that the so that things should run as normal. Should run back to normal as they used to be. So um those are some of the things that happened to make Kabul. So I wanted to take you like on the other side, show you the interesting places to chill within like Kanyaboli. And I think I, uh, I was to take you there like live, but since the things happened, those uh, things happened. But I'm still, uh, I'm, I'm still going. I'm seeing. I'm still going to take you guys to those places. So I'm going to show you footages like. Um, as you can see, the Lekanyaburi Resort. That's a drone footage, not mine. Just took you for the online video. People have went, people have um, visited the place. And um, this part of the video, as you can see, this um, this is the latest. I think the latest, latest club on water in Lekanyaburi. But I still don't know its name. But I've been there, as you can see, these are photos we ended with my friends some times ago when it was still not yet finished. So, ah, yeah, there's um, there are many places to chill in the Kanyaburi Resort, but this was just a brief, brief because uh, I was to take you to those places, but I, I, I didn't manage to. so. I'm promising you guys and then uh, I'm gonna plan a trip, take you to all those places, show you all the services and how they work. Um, I hope you'll be interested to watch the video and uh, make your bookings for the places too. Yeah, so thank you for watching this trip and trip. If you have any question guys, please type it on the comment section. Let me know. Yeah, and so let's continue growing as one well, this drip and trip. I'm planning to take you many places, not only in Kenya but all, all over the world. Yeah, God willing. So keep supporting me and I'll be much grateful for that. Bye.